Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Divedi. Yeah, very good morning, sir. I'll just waiting for Sonali, madam. I joined and again she left. Probably she's come. Ariyagan, sir, are you there? He might be with board member. There is some meeting parallel going on. So he just requested me. I said, fine, you attend. He may join any moment. Okay. okay. Because he is there. In the... We are keeping only the panelists and EA on this. The rest are all YouTube streaming. Okay. Limited uh, on the dice. But do you have the number? How many uh, access that YouTube channel? Uh, we will have at the end of the year. We'll share that. We are expecting okay. more than 1,000 at least. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Madam also. Good morning, Sonali, madam. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Yes. Now you are quite clear. Shushmita is also here. She is also joined. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning. I phoned everybody in the morning again. So let's see. We will start in two, three minutes now. Morning, everybody. Morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Very good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning sir. Nice to Thank see you. you. For joining. So nice. Good morning to all. Good morning. Madalizi is our TSC tech, um, committee member. Good morning, sir. I'm RK Singh from SIDB. Good, good, good morning. Good morning, morning. Singh. Morning. Welcome to this. Uh, uh, early morning, uh, you know, uh, program NCFE has organized. Nice to see you. Sir, yeah, same this age. The SIDWI also has contributed to the MSME booklet. Absolutely, it has come up very well. I think Yagnapriya madam has got a board meeting today there and Ramadevi madam has joined. Good morning everyone. Uh, yeah. Good morning madam. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning madam Rama. <laughs> Well, Kumarji, very good morning. Sir, good morning. Uh, Dr. Chairman of NCAP Gog Sab is there. And sir, Dr. Vimal Kumar is the secretary uh, National Association for Blind. Welcome, welcome, Vimal Sab. Good morning. Sir, thank you very much. Yes. Uh, I think we can start now. Yeah, actually, uh, that uh, our board meeting was pre-phoned yesterday, and uh, Priya Madam would also be joining today. So she just told. Oh, great, 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 great. She'll be joining. Yeah, Mr. Divedi, I think we can start now. Can start now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sunil uh, Viraj. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. we can start. Sure, sir. Uh, good morning to one and all. A very, very warm welcome to this wonderful and auspicious occasion that is the third foundation day of National Center for Financial Education and also the book release in a virtual format. I am Viraj Hari and I'm welcoming all of you on behalf of NCFE uh, to this wonderful event. I'm your virtual host for this event. 
though we are conducting this event in a virtual format, still we will ensure that it looks as real as possible. I would like to begin this program by welcoming our stars of dignitaries, that is Sri GP Garg sir, Executive Director, Securities and Exchange Board of India, also Chairman and Silfi. Uh, our very guest, our guest of honor, uh, Dr. R.K. Singh sir, uh, CGM Sidbi. Our guest of honor, Dr. Vimal Kumar Dengla sir, Honorable Secretary, National Association for the Blind India. Uh, our dignitaries, Sri N. Hariharan sir, Chief General Manager, Securities and Exchange Board of India and Director NCFE. Uh, Srimati Sonali Sen Gupta Nam, Chief General Manager, Reserve Bank of India and Director NCFE. Srimati Yagna Priya Bharat Nam, Chief General Manager, Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India and also Director NCFE. Sri Ashish Kumar sir, Chief General Manager, Provident Fund Regulatory and Development Authority and also Director NCFE. And our uh, CEO, Sri Satyajit Divedi sir, uh, for uh, I welcome all of you to this very grand event. And uh, we are indebted to all our dignitaries that despite of the tight schedule, we have blessed this occasion with a presence. NCFE is overwhelmed to your kind gesture. I also welcome all our financial education trainers who have been instrumental in all our financial education activities. And I also welcome all our viewers who are connected with us through various social media platforms. So ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to this magnificent event that's the third foundation day of National Center for Financial Education with the most awaited event that is the book release in virtual format. Uh, as you all are kindly aware, financial literacy is really a challenge in our country. And as for the survey conducted by National Center for Financial Education in 2019, we have found out that only 27% of the adult population are financially literate. From this, we can map that yes, we need to gap, uh, we need to bridge this gap with the help of our four financial sector regulators and also the stakeholders, including SIDBI and NAB India. This will eventually lead to achieve NCFE's vision that is financially aware and empowered India. I would like to begin this event as per a tradition that is by lighting the auspicious lamp. The lighting of the lamp symbolizes bringing in positivity, prosperity and good luck. So let us begin with the lighting of the lamp. That was indeed a auspicious start. Lighting of lamp signifies removal of darkness and negativity. Hope this lighting of lamp will help us to find a way in this pandemic. Uh, next, moving forward, I would like uh, to, uh, to ask our chairman sir to address this event. Uh, I would uh, like to call upon Sri GP Gug sir to set the tone of this meeting. Uh, GP Gug sir, who is instrumental in uh, imparting financial literacy and education in our country. Uh, we are proud to say that NCAP is your brainchild and we would like to hear from you, sir. Over to you, sir. Thanks, Viraj. Uh, fellow NCFE board member, uh, Mr. N. Hariharan, Chief General Manager, SEBI, uh, Srimati Sonali Sen Gupta, Chief General Manager, Reserve Bank of India, and I can see she is uh, uh, supported by 
Madam Saikya, she is probably sitting next to her. I welcome both of you. Uh, from uh, IRDA side, uh, Madam Yagnik Priya Bharat and Madam uh, Rama Devi. Uh, good to see both of you. We welcome you for. Uh, and uh, I'm extremely happy that Madam Rama Devi is also today from uh, uh, IRDA, who had been uh, so uh, you know passionately and motivating us for all this financial literacy program. Shri Ashish Kumarji, Chief General Manager, PFRDA and Director NCFE. And uh, Mr. Satyajit Divedi, who is the, you know, uh, driver of this uh, train, which is carrying all the, uh, you know, uh, these compartments together and this, our journey of NCFE. Uh, very uh, warm welcome to Dr. R.K. Singh, Chief General Manager, CIDB, who has been instrumental in uh, designing the book on MSFME. And I'm extremely happy that my colleague, uh, Ms. Uh, uh, Jenny John is also here, who played a very critical role along with Mr. Madala, who is, uh, you know, uh, chief technology officer or um, he is a very senior person in uh, NISM. He is also here, along with uh, Dr. Vimal Kumar Dengla, honorable uh, honorary secretary, National Association of Blinds of India. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, uh, joining this uh, program today, and all the uh, teachers large number of uh, trainers and students and other uh, uh, you know uh, who have interest in ncfe who have uh, joined together for this program uh, to begin with probably uh, you know uh, i was slightly little uh, emotional while we were lighting the lamp and uh, witnessing it and uh, at the same time uh, uh, today we are also uh, trying that on the third foundation day of uh, ncfe we bring at least some light in the lives of uh, blinds in the country by way of spreading financial literacy. Probably, uh, this is probably, I'll say that let us have this uh, a very solemn uh, commitment on the part of everyone who is here that whatever we can do, and I'm extremely glad uh, Dr. Vimal Kumar is here, that, sir, I promise you that uh, this is not just a symbolic, you know, lighting the lamp. I would put that the lighting the lamp for financial literacy. Uh, so that the light of financial education comes to the lives of uh, you know blinds in our country and that's the solemn commitment on the part of ncfe and everyone who is sitting here i think will support me and uh, this foundation day uh, which is uh, which we are celebrating and which is uh, towards our journey to create a financially aware and empowered india so for this journey uh, this is, you know, and time to reflect uh, on what we have done in last uh, uh, two, three years in this area. So uh, it's a, uh, I would say that uh, when we all uh, uh, board of directors of NCFE sit together and we have, uh, you know, uh, see that uh, we only see that there is a long journey and long way to go ahead. Uh, RBI has recently uh, issued National uh, Financial Inclusion Index and the number is 53.9. As on March 2021, I want to congratulate the Reserve Bank of India. I think it's a very, very unique uh, work uh, Reserve Bank of India has done and which will put all of us on our toes. Because uh, a country like India where we uh, this is our prime target that we have both financial literacy and financial inclusion. Uh, this number, while we can have some kind of uh, satisfaction that we are in the second half, but I would say this should be taken according to me as a beginning of the journey. So let us all don't feel that we are doing very well. Let us say that we have only started and uh, our top task should be that how to reach there. And the criteria taken are also very interesting that we have access, we have 35 out of 100 marks, uses 45 and uh, uh, quality 20. But I see the uh, uses uh, commensurate with the demand side uh, uh, you know, intervention, and that's where the role of financial literacy is very, very important. And uh, I'm extremely uh, happy that NCF is doing whatever it could can do at its uh, uh, disposal. But uh, in the morning, while I was uh, coming to office, I thought, let me just have a look at the uh, national survey uh, in respect of financial, uh, uh, you know, literacy and inclusion we carried out around two years back. And there are two figures which we which bothered me a lot. One was that, uh, you know, for a normal Indian, if you ask that what is compound interest and can you calculate the compound interest, only 6% of Indians can calculate the compound interest. 
we had not asked a very tough question we had asked a very simple question and let me tell you all of us either we pay compound interest or we earn compound interest but only 6% of us in the country understand that uh, how to calculate the compound interest it is a really very uh, disturbing figure and uh, it means that when we are taking any loan we don't know how the uh, you know loan provider is calculating the interest because uh, and similarly when we uh, you know deposit our money also we don't know that how the bank has calculated or the organization we have uh, and given us the interest so there is a you know very famous uh, saying that uh, uh, this power of compounding is so important that uh, those who uh, understand it they earn it and those who don't pay it so we have to create a system where at least some of these basic concepts people should understand even uh, i was very surprised that when we asked people that what do they understand uh, by simple interest then the figure was close to you know 58% which is also our uh, uh, financial inclusion index so it means there is a uh, some kind of i'll say correlation at least we start uh, making people even the very basic things like simple interest compound interest time value of money so they understand that uh, these are some of basic concepts uh, that would play a very very critical role uh, i don't want that we should look for some very uh, uh, complex products uh, you know uh, to begin with i would be very happy that uh, uh, ncfe should not uh, you know uh, for that sebi is there or then uh, we are there at a next level uh, reserve bank of india and all when we have to do the specific intervention but when it come to ncfe at least see that uh, uh, basic financial literacy is carried out uh, for the masses across the country uh, because uh, as just now viraj mentioned that only 27% of indians are financially literate so it means uh, a population where more than 80% of our population is normally literate if only 27% of indians are financially literate uh, probably we have a, a long way to go and uh, another disturbing feature is that among those 27% also only 21% of female population is financially literate and if i say that some of the class of people like those who are the agriculture laborers and all the level of financial literacy is very very low only 13% of agricultural laborers and only 16% of housewives or homemakers are financially literate so it shows us a clear direction that where our effort should be that who are the most vulnerable who are the people uh, we should uh, uh, look for fortunately there was not much difference between when we see the financial literacy for uh, general candidates or obc or scsc that's a good part it means overall almost all of them are uh, between 25 to 29 percent but uh, when it comes to for our female population homemakers agriculture laborers and again there is a huge uh, urban and rural divide only 24 percent of uh, people who are living irrespective of they are male female uh, uh, educational state they are uh, financially literate so this uh, uh, brings a, uh, a challenge which uh, all of us have to accept uh, as we move ahead i'm extremely glad that ncf is uh, uh, paying uh, uh, doing a lot to uh, you know uh, correct this skewedness and just to give an uh, another uh, uh, some of the figures which we uh, sebi in sebi has to uh, reflect on is that when it comes to things like mutual funds things like uh, investment in the securities market the number is again very very low almost uh, uh 21 percent people are have some kind of awareness but when it comes to the holding of uh, uh, mutual funds or uh, shares or stocks only three percent of the indians have it and i was wondering when the markets are going up people must if they don't understand this uh, subject then either they are investing without the knowledge or chances are they they may commit the mistakes so again a huge challenge for the sector regulators uh, uh, like uh, SEBI that uh, we create as much as uh, awareness as it is uh, uh, possible because then only uh, these things can uh, move ahead and we can uh, really feel satisfied. And another interesting fact which I checked was that lack of knowledge was the why when we asked the people that despite having money, some of those who could afford, what is that which is stopping you from investment or taking the right kind of financial decisions? And to a, my uh, great surprise that they say 33%, it means one third of Indians say that we could invest, but it is because of lack of knowledge. 
So again, it comes to uh, organization like NCFE and all of us that uh, uh, how to create this uh, awareness across the country and how to increase the uh, knowledge of the population. And second was complicated procedure. So that again is around 17%. Uh, so it means 50% is something which we can actually do, which is squarely, uh, you know, uh, falls in, uh, uh, I would say, our lab to see that these things are corrected. And but I, it's also a matter of great happiness that uh, NCFE, with its uh, uh, though it is at a nascent stage, it is only the third foundation day we are celebrating, ha is able to make uh, uh, I would say a reasonable impact in the area of uh, financial literacy with his five C's, which are content, capacity, collaboration, communication, and community. So I would request uh, NCFE, and I'm very grateful to all fellow. Uh, uh, board members of NCAP who have been tirelessly thinking and uh, always uh, making efforts that how do we, uh, you know, come to this uh, uh, lack of uh, financial knowledge and how to make the uh, countrymen financially uh, literate. So today is a great day and uh, uh, I'm extremely happy that uh, NCAP has come with these uh, uh, books uh, and one of the most heartening part was that they have not written it in a very complicated way because there is a uh, you know people as we are doing from the survey that uh, uh, if people are not aware of very simple concept like compound interest or simple interest or even how the inflation affects you or time value of money so you there is no need of uh, taking them to the complex product like say for example securities market let us start with the basics and I am very happy that NCFE has not lost that focus, and this financial education workbook has come come up very well. I also want to uh, congratulate the entire team which has worked on it. Similarly, when I saw the another booklet on micro, small, and medium enterprises, I understand uh, 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 Dr. R K Singh and uh, Jenny is uh, here from SEBI and. Uh, other, uh, uh, you know, committee members, uh, they all played a critical role to ensure that we come with a uh, very nice, uh, uh, you know, book or content, which is uh, relevant and people should uh, read with a lot of interest. And uh, finally, this uh, book, which is on, uh, uh, you know, financial education, uh, and it is uh, written in Braille. And I suppose it, uh, this is something which we have to, you know, uh, make sure that uh, this uh, doesn't, uh, uh, remain as a uh, kind of ceremony today because uh, there is a very famous saying and this is I'm telling you one of the world's famous, uh, uh, you know, uh, I would say angel investors or private equity fund uh, and their slogan to all the new entrepreneurs is that if you are producing something doesn't mean people will buy it. So I would slightly modify it that if you are, uh, you know, releasing some material doesn't mean people will ha have access to it. It means it is not just the religion, but to make it possible uh, that everyone or who matters, we take it forward. So I would request uh, CEO of NCFE that kindly see that uh, how or what could be the innovative ways of uh, uh, sending this uh, material which you have designed and developed to the masses, uh, whatever the channels you feel is best. Uh, and I would urge everyone who is here today in this uh, a morning session for release of these books that please place that at least you'll send this book to these books to at least 100 of or uh, 150 of your people you know them and uh, uh, we have the channels like whatsapp we have our uh, facebooks we have uh, so many uh, you know emails to whatever way please send it to 150 200 every friend you know because more you send more it will spread so I would say that uh, something we have uh, nicely designed, make sure that it doesn't remain, uh, uh, you know, today confined to us, but it goes to uh, everyone across the country because the, all the authors, all the colleagues who are sitting here have put their heart and soul in designing and uh, making uh, uh, this uh, book possible. And uh, content is very good. Uh, uh, let me compliment again NCFE in a, such a short time and that too in, uh, so many regional languages, uh, release, releasing of the book is not an easy task. So once again, compliment uh, uh, everyone who is associated with it. And I hope that we collectively with all the, uh, you know, uh, cooperation of everyone who is here and uh, with the board of NCFE, we will uh, 
uh, be successful in achieving the dream of creating a financially aware and empowered India. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Gurg, sir, for a kind words. I must say that uh, the kind of values that you have percolated will definitely help us in uh, achieving our goals. Coming to the next event, that is the book release function, NCAP has prepared a glimpse of all the three books that we are going to release. That is the Financial Education Handbook for Braille Readers, Financial Education Handbook in 11 Regional Languages, Financial Education Handbook for MSMEs. So we would like to show you a glimpse of it through a, through a video. The micro, small and medium enterprises, MSME, has emerged as a highly vibrant and dynamic sector of the Indian economy over the last five decades. Financial Education Handbook for MSMEs MSMEs are termed as growth engines of Indian economy. They contribute immensely to the socio-economic development. MSMEs aid in nation building, especially in rural and backward regions. They generate employment opportunities. In the contemporary context, MSMEs have a major role to play to support the initiatives of Make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat. In a bid to enhance financial education and awareness among owners, managers and employees in the MSME sector, the National Centre for Financial Education has produced a dedicated handbook. This handbook comprehensively covers all aspects of financial education with focus on schemes related to MSME sector. This handbook has been developed by NCFE with inputs from the financial sector regulators RBI, SEBI, IRDAI and EFRDA as well as developmental institutions for MSME sector like SIDB and others. This handbook is designed to cater to the growing demand for financial education across segments involved in MSME sector. This handbook is titled as Financial Education Handbook for MSMEs. Financial Education Handbook for Braille Readers. Accessible India Campaign of Government of India, otherwise known as Sugamya Bharat Abhyan, aims to achieve universal accessibility for persons with disabilities. In line with the campaign, the National Center for Financial Education has developed a financial education handbook for Braille readers. In association with the National Association for the Blind, NEB, India. This handbook has been developed as per one of the strategic goals adopted in National Strategy for Financial Education 2020 to 25 that intends to empower Indians to manage their money better. This handbook will be helpful for the visually impaired in gaining financial education and awareness by understanding such topics as banking, investment, pension, insurance, etc. Financial Education Handbook Translation into 11 Regional Languages India is a country with multiple local and regional languages. These languages play a vital role in effective communication and mass outreach. In line with the National Strategy for Financial Education 2020 to 25, Strategic Priorities, the National Center for Financial Education has developed a financial education handbook in 11 regional languages. The handbook is available in 
తమిళ్ మలయాళం తెలుగు కన్నడ మరాఠీ గుజరాతీ బెంగాలీ ఒడియా అస్సమిస్ ఉర్దూ అండ్ పంజాబీ దీస్ హ్యాండ్ బుక్స్ విల్ హెల్ప్ ఇన్ ఇన్క్లూజివ్ డిసెమినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫినాన్షియల్ లిటరేసీ అమాంగ్ ద టార్గెట్ ఆడియన్స్ thank you team uh, coming to the release uh, now we would like to release the books in virtual mode by playing this video in the esteemed presence of all our dignitaries so we take out our books or how do you want it to be done okay it is shown here you i'm very sure that uh, by just looking uh, having a glimpse of the video and looking at the cover of the books this would have created curiosity among all our uh, dignitaries to go through it once we have already sent you this book you can definitely go through it and for our viewers they can uh, definitely have an access to it once it is uploaded on our, on our website uh, thank you so thank you all and uh, next i would like to call upon shri r k singh sir to express uh, his uh, to express uh, himself on this occasion r k singh sir over to you yeah good morning good morning everybody uh, so uh, congratulation to ncfe to uh, spearhead this agenda and more particularly the msmb uh, getting uh, ingrained in the financial literacy part which is what uh, like we have been uh, uh, talking to uh, rbi and uh, and as also ncfe earlier also uh, so uh, garg sir had set uh, a very good tone uh, when he mentioned about power of compounding and that is what financial literacy has uh, it has a power of compounding itself because if uh, if we pick it uh, from the enterprise side uh, what is entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is basically uh, it uh, it is a risk and it is a conscious risk and how do you uh, like uh, uh, communicate to aspirant youth that uh, yes there is a risk but there is a reward uh, uh, and uh, we call it and uh, when we do our uh, sort of campaign for entrepreneurship we say risk be uh, hai uh, risk mein hi brisk walk so uh, if you are having risk uh you can walk a brisk way so the idea is that entrepreneurs are able to walk much faster than managers and that is what they have an edge so sidbi adopted the mission swalamban uh, we call it mission swalamban is basically entrepreneurship promotion and uh, we have adopted the umbrella mission mission swalamban uh, where we are trying to induce entrepreneurship culture pan india and uh, we have a uh, few pillars uh, woven around the mission swalamban and most important is uh, where we regard there are three important ambassadors to uh, inculcate a culture uh, the first is parents which is uh, and more important is mother and uh, the second is primary school teacher and third is the college teacher uh, like in our uh, education when we were having uh, we were uh, told to go for a good job and so we we always endeavored and admired uh, going for a good job and what we are trying to do is uh, can we have from each house in india one entrepreneur so that is what is the theme uh, which sidbi uh, has uh, started working on and and then these rest on four again four pillars uh, which are sampark samvad uh, sampreshan and suraksha 
some park is uh, basically uh, like meeting people and then uh, conveying uh, what is required samvad is having a dialogue uh, more regularly with stakeholders and policy makers and convey that this is important and then whatever we do like uh, garg sir uh, motivated that we all should take a psr personal social responsibility to at least give it to 150 people so uh, that is compression where you disseminate and then suraksha is let's weave a security network uh, around entrepreneurship and build a, a strong ecosystem and that is what sidbi has been doing for uh, last few years under guidance of uh, policy makers like rbi and stakeholders like ncfe uh, so that is how we came in touch with ncfe also uh initially we were doing uh, just to share with you our experience we were largely targeting on the financial literacy uh, and then we realized that while uh, doing financial literacy for aspirant youth uh, you do kindle a hunger uh, among them but how do you satiate that hunger and uh, for that it has to be changed to fill it to credit connect so we that is a theme which we are working on where we say any nowadays we don't do uh, entrepreneurship awareness program alone uh, we concentrate on enterprise setting up uh, program and so all our uh, monitoring is towards setting up side uh, uh, earlier we were concentrating more on the awareness side so there is a shift which we have brought and we call it uh, uh, finlet plus which is finlet to credit connect Uh, uh and then said be uh, has tried to look at the enterprise development cycle uh, right from uh, idea stage uh, to uh, conceptualizing uh, what he has to do what he should not do uh, to um, uh, setting up the enterprise to stepping up the enterprise and exiting the enterprise cycle and again setting up so this entire enterprise development cycle we have found that there is a bout of financial literacy which should go along at every stage you need a hand holding agency you need a counselor uh, you need a mentor uh, to walk along and that is the crucial role of uh, financial literacy uh, which we have uh, realized and we have been working on uh, if you if any aspirant uh, like sidbi has launched a lot of digital bouquet uh, right from stand up uh, mitra to udemy mit Tra to PSB 59, uh, and then we power national missions like PM Swanidhi. Uh, you see the three four programs we are today powering uh, through uh, digital cycle, and we have tried to onboard maximum financial uh, literacy uh, through digital mode, uh, so that uh, whenever anybody is thinking of becoming an entrepreneur, he should uh, be given that uh, right knowledge, trusted knowledge. so one of the like we have we have been onboarding all our uh, kids and uh, series on sidbi website uh, one of the important one is bankability kit and whenever we reach out to aspirants we tell them see to to be bankable you need to know only three things one is uh, no banking know the banker and know yourself if you are able to look within and realize the potential you have the hunar jo hai agar if they can realize and they can walk on uh they can be a good entrepreneur said so be a set up around uh, 100 uh, solomon connect kendra where anybody can give a miss call uh, or a, uh, like it's a toll free number and that number connects with the pin code to the respective uh, sck solomon connect kendra and they start walking the journey of hand holding uh, to mentoring these people so the, the the cycle is like we we uh, carry on with that cycle uh, and walk along with them uh, and then uh, sidbi has also been working with industry association where we have set up facilitation centers uh, and we have worked with the few uh, like uh, industry association in disseminating reaching out to people uh, giving them regular bouts of financial literacy Uh, so that is one uh, another area which we have worked out recently we have set up a solomon chair in one of the uh, engineering colleges uh, the idea is uh, to uh, besides uh, making the enterprise ecosystem robust uh, uh, any enterprise in the ecosystem where this engineering college operates can throw their pro uh, product and process problem 
uh, to them and the students uh, along with the under mentorship of professor uh, they can come over and um, address uh, that issue and so we have uh, we call it a chair with difference it is a chair which uh, moves with different professors picking up a problem and resolving that problem so this is also one way of uh, action based uh, literacy uh, which which we do um, just uh, i think we have to change the time limit uh, i was given 15 minutes uh, we have set up one msme station at hodgkas in new delhi and if you happen to visit that it is a unique station which we have built up Uh, other uh, other stations uh, are generally corporatized, uh, like they are sponsored uh, by a corporate. But uh, we have made it a MSME station, and uh, we have tried to disseminate uh, through video uh, panels, which are there, as also advertise uh, Mudra, Jan Dhan, Jan Suraksha, Stand Up India, uh, and SEBI is also there. So we say it is a station which uh, SEBI has uh, made for MSMEs, and uh, we have opened one or two kiosks out there. And uh, people who address the uh, uh, walkers by is uh, no, uh, the inquisitiveness to be an entrepreneur. And uh, a quick one is uh, like uh, what we do is uh, under Stand Up India we have uh, been spearheading women entrepreneurship uh, awareness. Come setting up an enterprise as also for SCST. So we have been running Swalaman campaign which we call uh, Sankalp and Sashak. Uh, and what we did uh, in this was when we realized that some of the women um, can uh, who have set up their enterprise uh, should be uh, given some bout of financial literacy uh, but telling like that was not working so what we did was we onboarded them on a the e-commerce platform and uh, told them to start transacting uh, with the products they make and as they started transacting then they started demanding that i should know more about uh, how to make payments how to do digital transactions uh, how to take advance what is the packaging i should go for how do i do pricing and so as the hunger started uh, like coming out and when we were addressing that there was a good receptivity in fact that they they uh, really appreciated and uh, emerged in a better way so what we are trying to do from our end is to uh, to do an embedded uh, awareness come action uh, like approach and that is a model uh, sitb has been uh, taking forward uh, and uh, what i would request uh, in, in the last is um, uh, you uh, like i will share with the ceo and cfe uh, if we make it like a flip book uh, recently we brought out a women empowerment book i just messaged to madam uh, sen gupta madam ko abhi maine just whatsapp kiya so uh, like uh, we have made it a musical flip book Uh, and there is a site where we can always turn our books into flip book and people will have interesting way of you uh, know turning the pages and uh, going through uh, these sort of booklets uh, and that is what uh, two three books we have turned into that and there is a good receptivity so maybe we can try out that so a quick one uh, from my side thank you for inviting us thank you thank you sir for honoring us with your presence and indeed it was a privilege to have you here and listen from you your words of wisdom thank you sir next i would like to call upon dr vimal kumar dengla sir who would like to express himself the importance express the importance of financial education for the visually challenged over to you sir thank you thanks to all first of all i thank ncfe for giving me this opportunity to express the importance of financial education for visually impaired i am really honored and privileged to be here in this august gathering of leading financial institutions and bodies and uh, amongst the policy makers and decision makers for the country and for all it is really ncfe's effort that they have brought all these leading financial institutions onto one platform i must thank garg sir and whole team of ncfe for bringing this financial education booklet in braille who can think about bringing these type of literature in braille script it is 
impossible to know or to take initiative for that. But NCFE has done this. It is really, I think, बहुत शुरुआत की सोच है ये अभी जस्ट गर्ग सर ने बोला फाइनेंशियल एजुकेशन इज अराउंड ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट इन आवर कंट्री एंड आउट ऑफ विच अभी वुमेन फाइनेंशियल एजुकेशन या एग्रीकल्चर वर्कर्स या अदर क्लासेस उनका ही रेशियो बहुत कम है तो ब्लाइंड लोगों का रेशियो तो पॉसिबल ही नहीं है काउंट करने योग्य नहीं है शायद बिकॉज our general education level is too less how can anyone imagine about financial education but you all the team of your ncfe has taken this initiative for bringing this booklet in braille for the use of visually impaired that is really very much advanced thought abhi samanya logon ke liye bhi mushkil hai ki hum financial education bataye so for visually impaired it is next to impossible and it is definitely that uh, india has around 50 60 million of visually impaired persons some data says it is 42 million some data says it is 60 million but it is if we take it in on an average it is at least 50 million definitely are the visually impaired community in the country and we have the maximum number of uh, blind persons in the world also around uh, there this 50 million contains two type of visual impairment that i tell you one is the totally blind that 100% blind persons and then rest so that 20% of this 50 million is approximately totally blind who does not have access to several facilities basic facilities also now if we come on to the topic uh, of this financial education importance first of all it is difficult to uh, get the financial means for visually impaired we the visually impaired persons it is very difficult for us to earn so if we are financially literate financially educated then we can save our money we can manage our money in a better way that will be also one type of earning that we need to tell it to the visually impaired community that if you get 10 rupees or 100 rupees you should use that judiciously it is more important to use the money whatever we have in the best possible manner the first thing which we need to understand for the visually impaired points of view that we are maximum from the poor background we have blind persons maximum from poor background otherwise also india has the most of the population from poor background and uh, i will not go into details of the type of blindness is there are persons who are over protected over neglected in blind community but normally 80 90% of blind persons are from poor background their family members does not know they are not literate uh, themselves then the question of financial literacy does not arise and the same happens with the visually impaired persons also if we get some funds uh, some income sources then we need to save that that is the most important thing there are certain things which a blind person should realize and should know about the financial education because you all the decision makers and the strategic uh, policy makers have given us several opportunities but the difficult point is that that we do not know that we from nab india are trying to make visually impaired aware with the help of our branches our networking and our direct beneficiaries also that visually impaired are known about the facilities available to them there are several things which a visually impaired can do for being financially secured or financially educated i tell you one example two examples to you we have normally 
uh, ATM card. Though IBA has made provisions for providing ATM cards or other internet banking facilities and other facilities to visually impaired persons also. Some banks provide it easily, some banks do not. I definitely uh, would like to request you all that use your influences, your good offices to convey them that if a visually impaired person is financially able, so give them these facilities. Take a test of them for financial education, financial literacy, whether they are able to understand, because this thing is more definitely required. I feel NCFE can take initiative in that. Like when we purchase a car or purchase a vehicle, we require a driving license to drive that. They take uh, our driving test and other tests also nowadays. In the same manner, if a visually impaired person goes to the bank, any financial institution, the authorities may take a financial test of them, test them that whether they are able to operate their bank accounts on their own independently. That is the most important part because blind people are difficult that we need to take the help of anyone for our daily things. If I want to operate my ATM card, I do have an ATM card and I do operate that. Whenever I go to ATM counter, I just enter in the counter and there is a provision of talking ATM also for the visually impaired, but nobody knows it actually. That is the problem. There is a earphone and we can use our earphone and put that point and use independently also. That is the best part if we can. Sometimes technology does not support. That is another matter. So we need to be safer side if we are going with some escort or some person for this ATM operations, we should put our pin enter on our own. Aap logo ko ek baat shayad kuch logo ko pata hoogi aap logo ko to. Jo keypad hota hai ATM counter ke upar, usme jo 5 ka digit hota hai, uske upar ek dot laga hota hai. That dot is for the use of visually impaired person to orientate that ये पांच नंबर का डॉट है इसके ऊपर 2 होगा इसके नीचे 8 होगा सो देन वी कैन बी ओरिएंटेड दिस टाइप ऑफ ट्रेनिंग्स एनईबी इंडिया डस प्रोवाइड टू द विजुअली इंपेयर्ड पर्संस आल्सो वी टेल देम अवॉइड यूजिंग एटीएम कार्ड्स यूज यूनो ऐप फॉर एसबीआई और अदर बैंक्स आल्सो कैशलेस विथड्रॉ क्योंकि अभी यूनो ऐप ने हम लोगों के लिए बड़ा फायदेमंद काम हुआ है हम लोग अपने मोबाइल से ऑपरेशन कर सकते हैं और उसके बाद में केवल पिन नंबर देना है ओटीपी देना है और पैसा लेकर कोई भी काउंटर से आएगा वी नीड नॉट टू गो देयर एज वेल एज उससे मेरा मोबिलिटी का प्रॉब्लम बचता है कन्वेंस का टाइम का और साथ में कार्ड देना ही नहीं उनको केवल उनको पैसे लेके आने हैं केवल पिकअप करके लाना है अदर वेज आल्सो वी हैव सेवरल प्रोविजंस इन इनकम टैक्स एक्ट एंड जीएसटी रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस आल्सो Several rebates and concessions are being given to visually impaired persons. We have additional this uh, rebate of, of 80 under section 80U of Income Tax Act for rupees 1.25 lakh rupees additional. But if we are not financially educated, it is difficult for us to avail those facilities. We need to avail those because of blindness. We have uh, we are having extra medical expenditures or maintenance expenditure which we can claim under section 80d of income tax act so several things are there which we definitely should learn we should teach them with the help of ncfe and your board of directors several other organizations nab india is definitely very keen to be connected with you all to get all facilities it is difficult for me to tell all the importance and all the things in one and this is speech only because there are several things which you all have made provisions for us, but we do not aware. Uh, so we need to be aware that how to avail those facilities and some of your junior level officers also needs to be sensitized a bit more 
about the needs of visually impaired. They should not deny to open the bank accounts. They should not deny to give the insurance policies. Insurance policies are uh, there to be provided to visually impaired, but several agents or development officers doesn't know those things. They don't give those policies easily. They charge extra premium also sometimes, which we should try to avoid, which we need to understand ourselves as a visually impaired, as well as we need to sensitize the team of the agents or other banking officers so they can help us. And uh, in this regard, I would like to tell you few things about NAB India also, that NAB India is a national organization working for the blind from uh, starting from their childhood or even from birth, nursery school till old age home also we have. Several of our activities are in Mumbai. Then we have a network of uh, 22 state branches, around 80 or so district branches. We have thousands of benefits uh, beneficiaries with us. Just now I was discussing with uh, the CEO, Mr. Divedi and Sefi, that uh, you can uh, use our contact list for circulation of your booklet about this financial education or other organization may bring their literature also in Braille or in other accessible formats for the visually impaired, which will be useful. At last, I must thank you, the organizing uh, team of this program, particularly by name, I should mention uh, th thankful to Mr. Sunil Upreti, who was in constant touch with our team for bringing this booklet uh, out in Braille. And then uh, Mr. Divedi, the CEO, and all the board of directors are definitely uh, doing a lot and taking this initiative of financial education for visually impaired. I must thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Honoring us with your presence. And uh, also, thank you for educating us and making us aware about your concerns. It was indeed a pleasure listening to you, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. Next, I would like to call upon Sri Ravi Samani, sir, Senior Manager, NCFE, to present the vote of thanks. Ravi, sir, over to you. Uh, thank you, Viraj. Uh, thanks for sharing. Uh, um, Mrs. Vera Nazarian, a renowned American author, once said, whenever you read a good book, somewhere in the world, a door opens to allow in more light. We are quite sure these newly launched books will definitely bring more light of knowledge in the world of every reader. It's an honor to offer vote of thanks on the occasion of, occasion of the Foundation Day come book launch ceremony. On behalf of NCFE and the entire team, I extend sincere thanks to everyone who participated in to, today's event. We convey our special thanks to the honorable dignitaries from I, uh, SIDBI and uh, NAB India, respected Dr. R.K. Singh sir and respected Dr. Vimal Kumar Dengla sir, who despite their busy schedule, kindly consented to grace the occasion and became a part of the event. I profusely thank respected Sri J.P. Gak sir, Executive Director SEBI and Chairman NCFE for uh, leading from the front and making the inaugural address. My team joins me in thanking respected directors of NCFE, Srimati Yagnatriya Bharat Madam, Srimati Sonali Sen Gupta Madam, Sri Hariharan Sir, Sri Ashish Kumar Sir, for their esteemed presence. We place on record our sincere appreciation to the members of uh, our program advisory committee, uh, Srimati Ramadevi Madam, Srimati uh, Sushmita Fukan Madam, Srimati Joni John Madam, and Sri uh, Ashish Dongre Sir. NCF is thankful uh, to the technical advisory com uh, committee members. Uh, it is Sri Narayan Madala sir, Sri Indra Indrajit Roy sir, and Sri Madhi uh, Rakamal madam for guiding the technology front of NCFE. We extend our gratitude to those resource persons and institutes who have provided their valuable inputs and support for the development of financial education handbook launched today. Uh, we thank our Chief Executive Officer Sri Satyajit Divedi sir for guiding us all along in organizing this event. We also would like to take this uh, opportunity to place 
on record the outstanding contributions of earlier directors uh, that is Srimati Surekha Marandi Madam, Sri Anil Sharma Sir, Sri Gosam, Gautam Prasad Bora Sir, uh, Srimati uh, Sumit Kaur Kapoor Madam and ex-CEO Sri Kamakya Sir and uh, Sri A. Rajan Sir in the initial and formative years of growth of NCFE. I will be failing in my duty if I don't thank, uh, thank our audience for actively participating and making this program a huge success. Lastly, NCFE team needs to be complimented and uploaded for their efforts in developing and arranging the launch of these books in a very short period of time. Uh, lastly, uh, we, uh, we thank you all once again for being with us. It was a great pleasure. Uh, have a great day ahead. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ravi sir. Words. Uh, just like every good event comes to an end, this event has reached its, reached its end. And uh, I would like to thank all the dignitaries, all the participants who are viewing us through various digital media platforms for gracing their presence to this event and uh, helping us out to making this magnificent event a success. And uh, NCP ensures you that we will come up with new programs and uh, expect your presence in all such programs. It might be webinars or seminars. And we expect all, uh, we, we require your help and grace every such time. Even though this is the end, but we can say that every finish line is the beginning of a new race. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Take care, all the best. Thank you all. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We can leave the meeting.